Welcome to another tutorial of Learn Brizzy Page Builder with JP. And in this feature session, we're going to look at what we call saved blocks. If you begin building your page with Brizzy, you need to have a block. And you can get many pre-made blocks from Brizzy by just clicking on it and then loading them from here. But is it possible for you to make your own block like this and then save it so that in the future you can use it as a template? And the answer is, it is. So first you have to, of course, make a block. So let's add a blank block. And I have in mind here a hero image because I'm thinking of a website with maybe three or four pages and I want to have a similar kind of style at the top. So the first thing I want to do is in this default block that I've loaded, I want to delete the template they give me. Next thing is I want to add a background image. Click on image and then choose my image. This website is going to be a website for a tailor training school. Let me just change my focal point here, move it up a little bit. And we are looking at a hero image. So let's bring in a title and we're going to call this pattern making. For those of you in the tailor business, you may understand what I'm talking about. I'm going to center it. I'm going to give it a heading one. And this will be, in fact, be my page's title. So after I've done this, I want to make it a little bit fatter. So I'm going to wait and I can go all the way to black. Yeah, I like that for now. And then the next thing I want to do is I want to just ensure that the HTML tag is on H1. And then usually below this, you will have some information regarding what is happening regarding pattern making. And I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to duplicate some random text provided to us by Brizzy. Keep it on pattern. Also make it white. And I'm going to center align it as well. And then I'm going to drag in a button. And for this, let's change the color. Let's make the foreground color. What will be the foreground? We are, or background foreground color. Let's make it white. We make the text black. And then if you hover over it, we can leave it on that setting. Let's reduce this a little bit just for display purposes. Let's put it in two spacers there to give us some space. And actually for the button, I'm even going to increase this spacer a little bit more, decrease the padding here. Good. So I've made this. It's very, very rudimentary at this moment. And what I want to do is I want to save this block so that when I go to my other page, I can just load it and make changes to it. And it's as easy as pie. All you do is you go to the block icon slider up here, click on it. Then you go to the little heart that says save and after you click save you will see it thinking and then it said saved what now and what now is that this block has been saved as is in the block section so when you go to add a new block you will see up here it says saved now you click on it and there you will see this block that says started from scratch where is your block where is the one you saved and at this moment, this is the one you saved. Yes, there is no display. And secondly, you cannot rename it. There's nothing you can do at this moment with it. Brizzy has told us they will still update this. So I'm looking forward to this because you can imagine if you save like 10 blocks here, it's going to be very difficult to choose the one that you want to use. But let's prove first that this is indeed the block that we had saved by clicking on it. And there you see it loads the same one in. So now if I were on a different page, I can go in and I can make changes again to it. I can choose a different image. And from there, I can even change, let's call this sewing. And you see, voila, this is what you can do with saved blocks. So though a great feature and you can use it anywhere on your site, you can call up your own blocks only problem at this moment is there is no way for you to rename this or no generated display that you can see what is actually inside this block. 
Once those two options are available, this is going to be a tremendous feature. And I also hope that not only for blocks, but even for containers, you know, like uh, the columns, rows, elements even, that there will be a global save function or a save function for that as well. This is how you save blocks that you can reuse again and again and again in the future. In the next video, let's look at the difference between saved blocks and global blocks.